Right guys and girls, Mark Crossford here. I'm out here with the green keepers this morning, a bag full of drivers. We're gonna do the best drivers for each category. So what are the best drivers at the moment out in the market for you to look at and go and test, but in each category, low spin, standard, draw, those kind of categories. Should be a fun one. So category number one, let's start at low spin. So drivers that are gonna reduce your spin levels, often used maybe by better players, and also in the modern world now, players who wanna try and reduce maybe ideas of, um, well, they want a certain shape, a certain look, but they've got a lot of spin because of the way they deliver the club, and they wanna just bring that down. Now, dangers with low spin drivers is obviously by reducing spin, you can reduce a little bit of your variations on shots if the spin comes too low. So the ideas with spin is that you move the weight of the club up to the front. By doing that, there's a good chance you're gonna reduce MOI. So basically your ball speeds will drop off. You might start seeing some balls dropping out of the air when you miss strike them. So if you like toe or kind of heel them, certainly toe them or high turn, you'll get these kind of dippy flights out of the air. So my pick for best low spin is the Cobra, the LTD XLS. And it certainly doesn't win this uh, award on its naming, because I think the naming's awful. Where it wins the award is I like how low spin it is. So what this one does, is it just goes like a rocket with nice, super low spin. It's not trying to be too much of a middle ground. It is literally saying, this is the low spin version of this club. Let's take some spin off it. So what I mean by that is it's, you know, it's aggressive in its low spin. So if you want something that's gonna reduce spin, look great, got plenty of tech. Let's have a quick look at the tech. So low spin with higher forgiveness is what Cobra is saying. I mean, there's always a trade off there, but you've got the PWR, COR technology, uh, puts a lot of weight low and forward for faster ball speeds and reduce spin. With most of the weight position forward, the LS model features low spin and most workability of all their free models, they're saying. It's their hottest face yet. It's a lighter and stronger construction, carbon on the bottom and the top. It's remarkable the amount of carbon they use on these drivers nowadays. And arguably it's designed for skilled players with faster swing speeds is the generalized model, but that wouldn't stop someone else trying it. But you are gonna lose some MOI, but you are gaining low speed performance. It's packed with tech and I do love the way it sits down by the ball. Looks fantastic down by the ball, very stealthy, very classy, not too overstated, but with a bit of jazz. But the performance of this club is just fantastic. Low spin, this is my favorite in the low spin category. So the next category, an important category that maybe not enough people look at, is the draw category. And this club is not afraid to draw. Yep, that's drawing. Now the draw driver category is, for me, one I still think that lots of golfers think that it's like, too, they want to do it themselves, it's too much of a help, but it's not. I mean, most of the best players in the world will have their driver often, not most, but enough, set up to a bias one way to work into what kind of shot shape they want to see. Most amateurs curve the ball a bit too far off to the right, it's a general pattern. So just trying to calm that down with a driver that's set with weight in the heel, just to try and help calm that down. Like, draw drivers aren't gonna turn a fade into a draw, but they might calm a fade down. If you reduce curvature, you increase distance. So I do think this is a category more people could look at. My winner's the Callaway Rogue ST. So this is the Max D, the Max Draw. You can see the weight here in the heel. Let's have a quick look at their tech. So the Max D Rogue ST built for max distance, but forgiveness as well. So the Rogue ST Max is built for golfers who want maximum levels of forgiveness from a driver, built for high MOI. So increased tungsten at the back. There's a cartridge at the back that really pushes that MOI up. It's got stability and speed from jailbreak speed frame face ai face as well so they really push the face technology and we've got the weight more in the heel of this club giving it that draw bias or the calming shapes down bias and that's what i like about this driver i think they're really trying to push tech as much as they can they are definitely a forerunner in kind of shaping the way drivers go in the future and have been from kind of the launch of their great big bertha the shape is great it's draw but it doesn't look to ad aggressively draw it would sit in people's bags and wouldn't shout give me help if ego is your problem it's the sounds it's the look the, i mean the sound of callaway drivers has been great for years draw drivers go it's a great combination of looks feel sound technology it's just a really clever blend that i think a lot of people 
could benefit from rogue st max d definitely one to maybe start your testing off and compare the rest to right we're in the max category and you can't look much further than ping when it comes to quality innovation and definitely the biggest thing that ping are obviously really always trying to push which is performance you're buying into a company that you know you're just kind of maxing out on and this driver so the ping g425 max is packed with performance they're going to check out the tech of this one so the ping has a very high moi it's got a 26 gram tungsten movable weight at the back it's got internal dragonfly structure again increase moi it's a precision forged face aerodynamic design that ping have been pushing for a long time and you've also got the adjustable neck as well so we're talking serious tech it looks great down by the ball in my opinion i do think that's the only thing ping sometimes lose out on is because the looks are their own because they build things around function they don't you know they're not always trying to make the prettiest driver in the world i mean i think it's pretty but i could see why some people just maybe get a little bit freaked out by these kind of things on top and then it's obviously all black stealth look black face often there's a more of a silver face people want to see so i mean i think it looks great but for me this is where ping excel in the actual performance like it sounds so good it feels so good and the numbers are just constantly on the money like that's what you can rely on you're going to rely on something that's just is going to do what it says it's going to do there's less bells and whistles with ping it's an engineering company that makes some of the best clubs in the world ping g425 if you want to max your driver i just don't think you're going to max it much more than that next category is price because driver pricing definitely is certainly in a place at the moment where uh, I understand it's like loopy and what can you get for your money which is actually going to compete with any of the other ones in this list now I'm sponsored by this brand so do what you want with this information it's still my honest opinion Cleveland have no say in this video they don't even know I'm making it this is all my opinions and based these are ideas for you to go and test I'm not saying buy any of these these are ones I want you to go and maybe add to your test list but for price Cleveland Launcher XL I mean it's just a great driver for the price you get changeable neck technology you get counterbalance well let's go and look at the tech of this club so extra large head design high moi the highest they've ever produced features the rebound face action mass cb so it's counterweighted at the top to try and help you deliver better speeds down the bottom and control adjustable hosel and built with a priority of control accuracy in mind with the high mois so you're getting major brand technology in a very affordable price with a fittable option subject to the pro stocking it so for price for me this one's a no-brainer i've gamed this one i'll game it again the flights are fantastic you get lovely true flights with them so even though it's a game improvement club it's not something that i'm struggling to keep down or get the spin model i want because of the changeable neck i can dial it in and it's big friendly like you plomp it down by the ball and you feel ready to go And it sounds like an absolute rocket and it flies like that's a rip <laughs> that is a bomb cleveland xl launcher for the price i think you're struggling to get a combination of tech as well as performance for all that kind of money it's just you got to be aware that the brand might be not what you're thinking is a driver brand and that's really where the price maybe with the other ones can get a little out of hand so for the last category and i would say every manufacturer makes a good driver in this category but this is like the standard so the all drive you know like one right in the middle now standard is such a bad word really because what your standard is will be different than my standard because some people's standards would be the low spin and then the draw and then a lightweight one and things like that so but this is like middle driver you know like the the real middle one in the bracket that they make because they all make three or four heads don't they and for this bracket i've got two heads because well i'll tell you why i mean i think it's interesting that i got two heads because they're both pretty much like at the opposite end of the advertising spectrum so we've got stealth with its carbon face revolutionary design tailor-made always make good drivers we've got mizuno also always make good drivers but no one really buys them even though they perform as good as anything and in the mizuno it's the the stz's there's a draw bias head in this one this is the standard and this is the standard stealth 
Should we do a quick overview of the tech of both of these drivers? Six time carbon twist face in the stealth. So 20 years of development, they're saying. So they've put six times carbon twist face, 40% lighter in the, than a titanium face. So really pushing the face idea. It's a high MOI driver. I think they're saying it's around 15% greater MOI than say the plus model. True slot speed pocket as well in this to produce additional forgiveness on low face strikes. So lots of ball speed kind of developments in this club and it certainly is new it's different the mizuno has a cortec sat 2041 beta titanium wave for ball speed and ct ribs can contribute to higher speed and larger a word i can't read basically they're really trying to keep the ball speeds up on this club Mizuno are saying that it's exceptional stability from off center strikes, an expansion of carbon sole area 40% and thinning out the titanium portion alongside a near doubling of the stabilizing back weight. Got a modern player's profile, it's solid in its feels and it's optimized with tech. So both packed with tech as you can imagine, Taylor may definitely do the bigger shouting, they have the bigger names on telly and I think this is something that has to be included in this because you know, this is a very desirable club. You will be seeing it on telly a lot. The red face makes sure that you can really see it because it stands out. So you can instantly see it's not just a any old dark driver. It's the red faced one, which people go into the shops and want the red faced one. Um, the looks are fantastic. It's absolutely gorgeous. The technology is there. Taylor made always trying to push technology. How much they actually do or not is a different thing. The only thing that makes me pick another driver in this round from Stealth is this. It's that sound. Like the performance is great. Taylor made it always at the top end of ball speeds. Like that's such a, oh, that's perfect. Um, they're always at the top ends of ball speeds. So you know with a Taylor made driver, you're gonna get a fast one. They're always trying to push tech, push off center hits, which again, which is why ball speeds are good. They generally and will always look really good. It's just the carbon revolution, or well, time will tell. I just don't think it's gonna be loud enough for every golfer and this is an every golfer category i think looks wise performance wise branding wise you have to go and try it and see how you get on and maybe in the comments let me know what you think of the uh, sound you love it or you hate it and it's the sound is the only reason why i've had to pick a second one so the look sound performance everything with this club the little carbon coming through on the top the tech it's all there and the reason this one is in there is i just think the performance far outweighs the brand's position in golf drivers if it was just performance based there would be so many people would have this driver for the price as well i think it's not crazy compared to others uh, in their bag but it's just mizuno is not a brand a name that people are going to when it comes to driving where well, maybe oh, that's a bullet as well it should be because they just perform as good as anything else. So I had to pick two in that category, sorry. There we go, let me know if this helps, gives you an idea of what's out there in the different categories. Let me know if there's something you think I've missed or something that you would want to include in those categories in the comments down below. Remember, these are just my opinions based on, you know, years of testing and testing these clubs over months and months. When it comes to the numbers of these clubs, because they're fit for me, they're all pretty much on the money, apart from obviously the low spin one drops down, those kind of things. But again, even dialing in with a fitting, you can get them all close if there's a certain head shape you want. Main thing for me is that you go and test hopefully this just gives you some ideas of where to start that testing from because obviously i think with so much choice out there sometimes it's hard to know where to start isn't it and this is the point of making this video thanks for watching post in the comments down below as always anything else you want to see anything else you want me to te uh, test or different categories comparing them up let me know thanks for watching speak to you all soon